The Ryzen 5 7600X is a value mid-range CPU, but you still need solid VRMs, good cooling, next-gen storage support, and reliable networking to get the most out of it. In this video, I'll show you the three best motherboards to pair with the 7600X, covering budget, premium, and my top choice, so you can pick the one that fits your build. Starting with my budget pick, we have the ASRock B650 MPG. If you want a solid motherboard for your Ryzen 5 7600X without paying for premium extras you may never use, the ASRock B650 MPG is an excellent pick. For starters, it gives you AM5 compatibility with enough modern features to run everything smoothly. You get DDR5 memory support with speeds up into the 7200 plus megahertz overclocked range, Gen 5 M2, decent power delivery, and extras like 2.5 gigabytes bit LAN and BIOS flashback. Of course, it does lack some premium touches of higher-end boards, such as less thermal headroom, fewer expansion slots, and lower-end VRMs. But for budget-conscious buyers building primarily for gaming with a 7600X, or even some light streaming and content creation, the B650 MPG offers excellent value. That said, if you can stretch your budget a bit further, the Gigabyte B650 Aorus Elite AX is also worth considering. It offers stronger VRMs and more robust cooling, making it better suited for sustained performance or light upgrades down the line. You also get built-in Wi-Fi along with 2.5 Gigabit LAN, generous expansion options, extra USB ports, and a more premium overall layout. But despite all of that, we still recommend the ASRock B650 MPG as the best budget pick, and for good reason. While the Aorus Elite AX gives you extra bells and whistles, it also pushes the price closer to mid-range territory. For builders who want the most affordable entry into AM5 without sacrificing essentials like DDR5 support, PCIe Gen 5 storage, and stable VRMs for the Ryzen 5 7600X, the B650 MPG remains the smarter choice. To sum up, what I like is the features are very well balanced for its price. The solid DDR5 memory support, the compact micro ATX form factor, and the modern 2.5 gigabit LAN networking. On the downside, it lacks premium features and limited overclocking potential. Next, for those of you set on a premium motherboard to pair with the Ryzen 5 7600X, the crown goes to the Asus ROG Strix B650E-F. This board hits that sweet spot where you get enthusiast-grade features like PCIe Gen 5 support for both GPU and NVMe, high-quality VRMs, and the signature ROG design without jumping into the extreme pricing of X670E boards. On the spec sheet, it carries 12 plus 2 power stations, 80 amps each, which is more than enough for the Ryzen 5 and even higher tier CPUs if you decide to upgrade later. You also get DDR5 support, a large VRM heatsink, solid thermal design across the board, Wi-Fi 6E, and premium build quality to top it all off. Now, the premium category does have alternatives worth mentioning, and the Asus ROG Strix B650E-E gaming Wi-Fi is one of them. It certainly lives up to the premium label, with stronger VRM cooling, more robust connectivity, and additional USB ports. However, its pricing lands it in a tough spot, as it starts to overlap with X670 motherboards that deliver even more features for around the same cost. And that's exactly where the ROG Strix B650E-F pulls ahead, offering not just strong specifications, but also premium extras like an intuitive BIOS interface, AI overclocking support, reinforced PCIe slots, a Q release button, and much more across the board. For Ryzen 5 7600X users who want a well-rounded, feature-rich board without overspending, the B650E-F is the smarter premium choice. To sum up, what I like is the strong 12 plus 2 power stages, Wi-Fi 6E and 2.5 gigabit LAN built in, and the premium ROG aesthetics and build quality. On the downside, it's more expensive than other B650 boards. Finally, my top choice is the Asus ROG Strix B650A. If you don't want the cheapest option, and also not the most premium, but instead a board that strikes the right balance, then for most Ryzen 5 7600X builders, the Asus ROG Strix B650A is what I would recommend. 
It offers the perfect mix of features, performance, and design at a price that makes sense for the majority of users. With PCIe Gen 5 storage support, solid VRMs, reliable networking, and Asus's attention to detail, this board can easily handle gaming, productivity, and even moderate overclocking. The VRM setup is very similar to what we saw on the B650E-F with 12 plus 2 power stages that ensure excellent stability and allow the Ryzen 5 7600X to perform at its best. Storage is another highlight, with PCIe Gen 5 M2 support for next generation speeds, plus equally strong networking thanks to 2.5 gigabit LAN and Wi-Fi 6E. That being said, there are alternatives in this category depending on your needs. The Gigabyte B650 Gaming X AX V2 is a dependable choice for those who just want a straightforward motherboard without the premium extras of ROG Strix. It's also more budget-friendly, offering Gen 5 storage, solid VRMs, and decent connectivity at a lower price point. Then there's the Gigabyte B650M Aorus Elite AX, which stands out with its micro ATX form factor, making it ideal for compact cases while still delivering solid performance and full AM5 support. Still, the Asus ROG Strix B650A edges out both of these alternatives because it provides a more well-rounded overall experience. While it doesn't include every enthusiast great feature, it balances performance and pricing so well that it's the board most Ryzen 5 7600X users will find ideal. To sum up, what I like is the balanced pricing for the features offered, the clean white ROG design for themed builds, and the 12 plus 2 power stages with strong VRM cooling. On the downside, pricier than budget-oriented B650 options, and there is no PCIe Gen 5 GPU slot, only Gen 5 for storage.